Hello everyone and welcome back to my channel Lessons at Finger Dips. Here we discuss on some important topics in really simple words so that it's easy for you all to understand and keep things in mind. Today our topic of discussion is going to be Bowman's Theory of Sales Revenue Maximization. Before we come to our topic, let us first discuss a simple thing. What is the main objective of a business? The main objective of a business is profit maximization. It's the golden rule for doing a business, isn't it? And for profit maximization, it is very important for the owner to take the risk. You take a risk, you reap profit, isn't it? So now, what is a profit? Profit is what? Total revenue minus total cost. That's the profit. Now here comes the Bauman's theory. We already have a theory of profit maximization, right? And on to criticize that theory, to tell something about the theory, Bauman have, here we discuss the Bauman's theory. As per the Bauman's theory, he says what? That it's not profit maximization that should be the golden rule or any one objective of the company you know, of, of a business organization. What it should be? It should be sales maximization. Revenue should be collected from sales maximization. Till a certain level there should be increased, that much profit should be attained and after that certain level no more concentration on profit rather than concentrate on sales maximization. So first we will read a few assumptions then we will discuss in brief that what is this the first assumption states that the firm aims at maximizing its total sales revenue in the long run subject to profit constraint. Remember this, there is this profit constraint. That means what? In short run, our economy, the whole process of business or the economy is divided into two parts. One is the short run, one is the long run. For short run, the company, the business should concentrate on profit and that profit will be this profit constraint, the minimum profit that a business should incur to sustain in the market and once it has attained that profit, it needs to concentrate on what? Sales maximization. Got it? Total sales revenue ko increase karna. Then comes the next assumption, there is a single period time horizon of the firm. Not like, you know, uh, the firm, it's a continuous single time period. Got it? Second, third is what the firm's minimum profit constraint is set competitively in terms of current market value of its share. Now, how the minimum profit is to be set? How this profit constraint is to be set? It is a set in terms of the current market value of its shares. The fourth one is here we consider what oligopolistic market. This model is based on an oligopolistic market where there exists what intense competition. Okay. Because there is intense competition, the firms should not concentrate in long run on profit maximization rather on sales revenue maximization because intense competition is existing. So all the cost curve in the Baumol theory is U-shaped and the demand curve is downward sloping as it usually happens. Now let us take two diagrams. The first diagram you see, you can easily identify that this is the simple profit maximizing diagram which says what is the basic constraint for profit maximization. The marginal revenue should be equals to marginal cost. And that is a shown here. Normally, you see this is the marginal cost. The cost curve is U-shaped. The demand curve is downward sloping. Usually this is what happens in case of oligopolistic market. We have the MR curve which... Uh, which here the MR curve is at zero, isn't it? Now, if you see as per the profit maximization output, that should be Q, the profit maximization output. Why? Because that is the point where MR is equal to MC and the price charge is to be here, right? P. But what about the sales maximization output? If you go in terms of sales maximization output, then the output should be Q1 where MR is 0, marginal revenue is 0, 
why marginal revenue is zero try and understand because after this after this if we are increasing the revenue that is upsells increase karenge to total revenue will start falling down got it so now what will have that 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 implies that we are in the saturation point marginal revenue is equals to zero means we are in the saturation point iske baad if we are increasing the sales means what ki abhi hum log ka total revenue negative mein chal jayega that we don't want negative nahi matlab it will start reducing that is why when total revenue starts reducing means what marginal revenue abhi uh, negative mein chal jayega so till how much we are going to produce how much should be the output until and unless you reach the saturation point where mr is equals to 0 got it so ye ho gaya so from here you can easily analyze that the quantity that uh, you know that uh, the sat that the sales maximization is steady that is much more than the profit maximization level of output Isn't it the output level for sales maximization, total sales maximization का revenue जो हम लोग increase कर रहे हैं उसी उसका output is much more than this profit maximization output. Got it? Now here you see that is the output level at which the elasticity of demand is unity. Got it? Now let us come to this diagram. This is a very very important diagram. You see T R represents the total revenue. You see, this is the maximum point of the total revenue, right? So here, till we will be, what we will be doing? We will be uh, increasing the output. We will be producing. Is ke baad total revenue is falling means marginal revenue becomes negative. Got it? So that is the situation. So produce kaha tak karna hai till where total revenue is maximum. But abhi ham log kya karenge ki this is the profit maximization level of output. This is the total. रेवेन्यू मैक्सिमाइजेशन ऑफ आउटपुट बट दोनों में ही प्रोड्यूस नहीं करना है क्यों नहीं करना है लेट्स एनालाइज दैट यू सी दिस इज पी एम पी एम पी इज द लाइन दैट इज रिप्रेजेंटिंग द प्रॉफिट कॉन्स्टेंट दैट इज द मिनिमम प्रॉफिट जो प्रोड्यूस करना ही है ड्यूरिंग अ बिजनेस गॉट इट देन टी पी इज व्हाट टोटल प्रॉफिट द टोटल प्रॉफिट इज अगेन अ एन शेप्ड कार्ड मतलब इट्स इंक्रीजिंग रीचिंग मैक्सिमम एट द पॉइंट बी एंड देन फॉलिंग एंड बिकमिंग नेगेटिव कब नेगेटिव हो जाएगा व्हेन द टोटल रेवेन्यू लाइक स्टार्ट्स फॉलिंग तो टोटल ये जो टोटल प्रॉफिट है दैट आल्सो बिकम्स नेगेटिव ओके एंड देन वी हैव द टोटल कॉस्ट कर्व दैट इज यू शेप कॉस्ट कर्व सारे के सारे कॉस्ट कर्व्स आर गोइंग टू बी यू शेप बट now you see so b is the point where of profit maximization yahan pe profit will be the maximum b is the point to so profit maximization agar motive hai to how much output we are going to produce q tak produce karenge what is the sales revenue maximization wala output that is k to so yahan pe total revenue is maximum to so kahan tak produce karenge till k that is okay hai na But you see at okay what is happening? What is the minimum profit that is that the company is getting? The minimum profit. This is the total profit, right? So the total profit is only K S. Total profit is only K S. Try and understand this. Yahan pe total profit is what Q B. Yahan pe total profit is what K S. तो के एस इज मच लेस देन ओ एम मिनिमम ओ एम तक होना ही चाहिए हम लोग का प्रॉफिट तो मिनिमम प्रॉफिट नहीं हो रहा है सो वी आर नॉट गेटिंग दिस वन दैट इज द पाई कॉन्स्टेंट द प्रॉफिट कॉन्स्टेंट सेटिस्फाई नहीं कर रहा है सो दिस इज नॉट द ऑप्टिमम लेवल ऑफ आउटपुट व्हाट शुड बी द ऑप्टिमम लेवल ऑफ आउटपुट वेट द टोटल कॉस्ट कर इंटरसेक्स विद द टोटल प्रॉफिट कर और यहां पे क्या हो रहा है टोटल रेवेन्यू से थोड़ा सा कम वी आर गेटिंग नॉट द मैक्सिमम टोटल रेवेन्यू बट थोड़ा सा कम वी आर गेटिंग ओके सो दैट इज द ऑप्टिमल आउटपुट क्यू बिकॉज़ इट इज सेटिस्फाइंग द पॉइंट हियर द मिनिमम प्रॉफिट कॉन्स्टेंट को सेटिस्फाई कर रहा है गॉट इट so it is not that you only need to look after maximization of sales revenue or you only need to look after the profit maximization this diagram states that sales revenue maximization karna hai keeping in mind the profit constraint got 
it. Here for maximizes profit at OQ level, at OQ level corresponding to the highest point on the TB curve, that is the total profit curve. Here the highest point is B. But as per Baumul's concept, his aim is what to sales maximization. Which is at OK. Abhi sales maximization hoga kaha pe? OK pe. Isn't it? Jo ki yaha pe total revenue hum loga sabse highest hoga. Total revenue is what? KL. Isn't it? KL. Ye ho gaya total revenue. Which is maximum at the highest point of TR. So if you see sales maximization ka jo output hai that is OK is greater than the profit maximization output that is OQ. Isn't it? So OK will not. But minimum profit constraint satisfy nahi kar raha. Well, how much is the profit? It's just K is. So B cannot produce. So OK will not be the sales maximization output as minimum profit constraint of OM is not satisfied. But if we produce OD ka output, produce karenge, the firm earns the minimum profit constraint and also earns higher TR. Here, minimum profit is what OM equals to DC satisfy kar rahe. And what is a TR by total output? What is the total revenue by total output? That is DE by OD. Got it. So, separate. Now, so this was the concept of the diagram. Now, a very important thing is this one. Separation of ownership and management combined with the desire for steady performance ensures satisfactory profit trends to make the manager risk avoiders. Now, abhi hum log profit maximization jab theory we uh, know, there I already said you what ki risk lena hai. To increase the profit, you must take risk. But Baumul kya bolega? Ki separation of ownership and management hota hai. One ownership alag hai business ka. Management alag hai business ka. Owners will look after their share ka value company. Management, managers are just employees. They will look after themselves. Ke apne ko salary milna chahiye. Our job security rehna chahiye. Khud ka job security rehna chahiye. So, dono ka jab uh, desires combine honge for steady performance ensures what satisfactory profit. Matlab, ye minimum profit hum log establish karenge. Uske baad bas sales revenue ko maximize karna hai. When this motive comes, to kya hoga? Risk lene ka. The, you know, the tendency to take risk, uh, it, uh, it diminishes. Okay? So risk avoider ho jate hai manager. They will not be taking risk. Apne job ko kyu khatre mein dalna hai? What if we just uh, take the risk and we lose the game? Isn't it? So risk nahi lena hai. We need to maintain a satisfactory level of profit. Uske baad sales revenue ko increase karenge. Apna total revenue increase hota rahe. Got it? So this was all about the concept of Bauman's theory of sales revenue maximization. I hope you guys have liked this video. Please do hit a like and subscribe to my channel. Share with your friends for more such informative videos. Thank you. Bye bye.